Hey YouTube, it's B. Um, we're going to have a little follow-up discussion today. We talked about uh, reading labels before, and we talked about our macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Now you all heard from my friend Yehuda, and I'll link him down there in the description, who talked about carbohydrates. Today we're going to talk about fats. All right, now what a fat is, and I'm reading off my notes, I apologize for looking down. What a fat is, is just, simply put, it's a compound that we find in our food. All right, it's an essential compound, which is why we call it a macronutrient. Those three things are things that we have to have for our body to function. Um, and what fats do, and they have a lot of functions, but the reason we need them in our bodies is because they help break down certain vitamins and minerals. Now, there are certain vitamins that we bring in. Um, an example of those is vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. They're called fat soluble vitamins. All right, and there's a couple things that we're going to talk about today. Soluble is a word that means uh, it's dissolvable. Okay, salt is water soluble. What that means is if you put salt in water and you stir it up, it dissolves. Okay, uh, those particular vitamins are fat soluble. If you put them in a fat, they will dissolve. Fats break down those vitamins and allow your body to use them. Now, those vitamins are good for things like um, your hair, uh, your skin, cell growth. Um, I'm trying to look at some other things here. They assist in um, in organ development. And fats also provide kind of like a sponge effect. When your body gets hammered with a lot of disease, viruses, and things like that, sometimes what happens is those fat cells open up and they kind of trap trap those diseases and allow your body time to get to those you know your body has to process these things and, and send antibodies out to attack um, uh, viruses and what happens is fat cells kind of grab those things and hold on to them so that they don't attack other things until your body can get to them. So it's kind of like a holding cue. Um, does that mean fat people are healthier? No, I think we know that that's not true but, um, but fats in general uh, good fats, and we'll talk about those in a moment, uh, assist in those functions. Now, there are two types of fats. They're what we call oil, and that's typically what we call um, fats that are liquid at room temperature. And then fats, and those are typically what is solid at room temperature. So uh, things like butter, uh, beef fat, chicken fat, those we would call fat. And things like olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, those are things we would call oils. Um, some examples of, uh, of those would be in animal fats, um, things like butter, cream, um, trying to read off my list again, uh, the fat, like we said, the fat that you see on meat and poultry, uh, and they can also come from vegetables, things like uh, olive oil, peanut butter, uh, flaxseed oil, um, and those are places that we find fats. Now, fats can be categorized into one of four different categories. Um, now, you know, before we get into that, let's talk about a fat cell. Uh, let me get a picture out here. We'll, we'll change over to another view and we'll show you what that looks like. Now, you guys don't laugh at me. This is a fat molecule. Um, kind of an example, let's just show you what you're looking at here. What you see are these white things are hydrogen atoms, all right? These black things in the middle are carbon atoms. And these guys, and it's kind of hard in this black and white picture, but these guys on the end are oxygen atoms. Um, this is a chain of actually three fat molecules that are bounded together. And this particular fat molecule is saturated. It's hard to tell here, but I'll show you another photograph in a minute that, that gives us the, uh, the chemical formula for a fat. You know, these are hydrogens and then these are carbons. You can't see me right on there. But what this means by saturated is that there are no, there's no room left for these little hydrogen guys. Um, and we'll talk about what we mean by saturated and, and unsaturated fats here in this next picture. Now this is a more technical explanation or technical drawing of what we were looking at a while ago. Here's our carbon atoms that we see here and our oxygen atoms and our hydrogen atoms. All right, This is a typical fat cell or fat molecule rather. This fat molecule is said to be saturated because there's no room for any more hydrogen atoms. What this means is there's no reactivity in this molecule. So when we eat these things, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to come in and they're going to go out. Now this type of fat is found in things like uh, meat, um, chicken skin, poultry skin, our dairy products like cream and things like that. These are saturated fats. These are said to cause um, 
increase your health risks and to actually increase your cholesterol. Now this fat is unsaturated and this is what we mean by monounsaturated mono and polyunsaturated fats. This particular one is polyunsaturated because if you don't have to know anything about chemistry. I'll just go ahead and tell you this here and you can just assume that I'm correct. If we were going to add some hydrogen atoms here, they would go into place just like this. So we have room for more than one hydrogen atom. So that means that this is polyunsaturated, meaning it can take on more than one hydrogen atom. Now, if it were only able to take on one hydrogen atom, it would be called monounsaturated fats. Um, monounsaturated fats are what we call neutral fats. They're not good, they're not bad. Those are things like olives, uh, ground nuts, avocados, things like that. Polyunsaturated fats are the good fats. Those are the fats that we talk about. They're called omega-3 polyunsaturated fats. It's a big word. Don't have to worry about that. They're also called omega-3 fatty acids. Those are the things that lower your cholesterol, protect you from heart disease, prevent arthritis, things like that. Those are found in oily fish like salmon, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, flaxseed oil, things like that. Now, let's talk about one more. Oh my God, it's trans fat. No. Um, Transsaturated fat is trans fat, right? That's the bad stuff that we hear all this terrible stuff about, right? Well, that's true. It's crappy. It's terrible. It's horrible when you don't want to eat it. What trans fat is, is a synthetic fat, all right? It's made in a process by taking vegetable oils and cramming hydrogen in them, right? Um, it's made in an industrial process. It's used to, thing, used to, to um, because it's a cheap way to manufacture uh, solid liquid fats, right? Okay. Um, it is not an essential fat, okay? Just like, um, just like our uh, saturated fats, it's not essential. We do not need it to survive, and we really don't want to eat it at all because it's bad news. Ah! Um, no, it actually is bad, and there's a big reason that people make uh, a big deal about trans fats. One, obviously, they're not essential. We don't need them. Why eat them? Well, two, they raise cholesterol. All right, um, they increase your risk of heart disease, all that. But all that bad stuff that you hear that fats do, this is the one that does it, right? Um, where are you gonna find them? Well, you're gonna find them in fried foods. You're gonna find them in donuts. You're gonna find them in um, in all that stuff. It's also called partially hydrogenated, hydrogenated, hydrogenated. Hyd it's partially something that's totally bad for you, right? Anyway, so. That's fats in a nutshell. Um, I don't know if we have time, but we'll go ahead and recap. Saturated fats, the fats that don't react, right? They're the, the bad fats. They're totally crammed full of hydrogen. Naturally, not artificially, because those would be trans fats, right? Um, we find those in meat and poultry and dairy, right? Um, our monosaturated fats, those are the neutral fats. Those are the things in olives and avocados, okay? Our polyunsaturated fats are the ones that we call our, our omega-3 fatty acids, right? Those are the good ones. Those are the ones we want, yeah? Those are found in uh, our oily fish, like our salmon, our trout, and uh, grapeseed oil, flaxseed oil, all that good stuff, sunflower seeds. And then the bad fats, the trans fats, right? That's in your fried foods. That's in your... Uh, in your um, donuts and stuff like that. So anyway, you are now a fat expert. Probably more than you ever wanted to know about fats. Um, we're going to come back to this topic, not in such great detail, because uh, eventually, after we talk about proteins, we're going to start talking about meal planning. Um, how you can go to your nutritionist and ask questions and talk about uh, how you should structure your meals. And then we can work, about pl then we can work out planning meals. Because you have to have this information before you can you can uh, put a plan together. So I'm guessing Yehuda's going to talk about it. I'm not sure. We haven't worked that out. We may both tackle proteins because it's a pretty big complex subject. Um, but we will definitely be talking about it in the near future. And then we'll get on to, to planning some meals and some questions to ask for you nutritionists. Anyway, make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, come back and see us. You guys have a great week. And we'll talk to you later.